I made these little drawers, slide out drawers for my electronic components out of foam core and this unit out of coroplast. It's basically corrugated plastic. Um, looks shite, right? I mean, it's terrible. Uh, I took all the drawers out. These are all my transistors, some more transistors. I've got some capacitors here. Just a whole host of little components. I got some voltage regulators here, so I'm gonna get rid of this. This is garbage. I do have five or six old cigar boxes. This one's Dom Perignon. Cubans. They're great cigars, by the way. Uh, it's a nice box. It's made out of wood. I think it's cedar. So what I do want to use, I still want to use the um, foam core still. I want to make it look nice inside. Um, I want to get rid of these. I'm going to use some white foam core. And I need to... And what we'll do is... What we'll do is this first box, I have some other boxes here, some Monte Cristos, these were the torpedoes I think, and these were Romeo and Julietas. So I've got a couple of other boxes. This first box, I've labeled it already, it's going to be transistors. So I've got... Maybe transistors and some diodes, I don't know. The compartments don't need to be very big, you know, look at these transistors. And I don't have very many, I don't use them that often anyway. These are the BC557s, 2N2907 and 2N3904 transistors. I'll probably label it up here. So I'll get started. Sharpen my knife. Let's give it a couple of swipes. I want a sharp knife for this. So, pain view. Okay, we'll do it right here. We'll do the bottom first. So, nine. How tight do I want to make this? Make it nine and a half by seven and three sixteens. Seven three sixteens is going to be too tight. Seven and a quarter, I mean, seven and an eighth. Just over seven and eighth, maybe a thirty second over seven eighth. So seven and five thirty seconds. Okay, so what he said nine and a half. Seven and five thirty seconds. And the height does not want to go to this lip here. So they're gonna be one and a half inches. So I can barely see this pencil line there. there. It's good to start to cut just outside and slice it in. We got a perfect cut. So this should be a good fit. Yeah, that's a good fit. Do 
got my glue gun working, my hot glue gun heating up. I need one and a half inch cuts. Um, is this one and a half inches? Or on a quarter. Okay. Just wondering if I should do it on the bandsaw. Let me cut some slices on the bandsaw. Let me be right back. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I didn't take into account the height of the bottom. So, yeah, idiot show. We're going to use the knife after all. That was dumb, right? Live and learn, live and learn. For some reason, I keep doing this same mistake over and over. I just do it over and over. When you say live and learn, I don't live and learn. I just live. Silly. use this in the beginning anyway right okay so we're good okay the good thing about can you see the good thing about this cutting mat is the grids they're one inch grids so if you have a line the straight edge against if you align your foam core against the grid you got a perfectly perpendicular cut yeah that's good and we'll use this. First row. Get rid of these spider webs. Now I think I'm gonna get this into the box. Just make sure it fits before I go any further. Okay. Let's hope it fits properly. Transistors. 
Very nice, very nice. So these are gonna be sorted after. So we're gonna put like half in here. A third. Let's fix this up. We're gonna put some there, some there, some there. And we're going to start so what are we how many one two three four five six one two three four five six So in this first slot, we had 2N3906. I know it's going to be wrong. I have to fix it. Five. And this will be BC327s, BC337s, BC547s. use tweezers a lot of the times then we have you see five five seven we have two n two nine oh seven and two n three nine oh four another row like this shall we Four five seven O C. So I don't even know what these are. I'll be honest. So I'm gonna put this here now. And when I'm making the legend, I'll figure it all out. I may need to have more slots, compartments, and not. Go we'll figure it out. Let me just show you. Those are all my circuits. 
I got diodes here. I got a bunch of diodes, miscellaneous diodes. Let's put the diodes. These are miscellaneous diodes. Actually, I should have had a bigger area for diodes, but you know what? So that's it. Get rid of this stuff. These are going to go next in the next box, so we'll do that after. I'm not going to show that. I mean, I just want to show you the one box. So here you have it. We're going to have a legend up here. I'll show you that when it's done. This is my transistors and diodes and I think voltage regulators. We'll just put them all there. Okay, done. Almost done. Here we have electronic components one, transistors, diodes, basically all the components that have pins. You open it up. There we have it. Let me see if you can see it here. Everything's nice and neat, everything's labeled.
We have the diodes over here, voltage regulators, um, integrated circuits here, rectifiers, and the rest are transistors. We have a few MOSFETs. So that's one. Nice little case. Electronic components two. These are just miscellaneous items, really. Audio amplifier, ultrasonic wave detector, infrared sensors. We have battery chargers, HDMI, Ethernet ports, step-up converter. These are little um, vibrating motors. These are just items that I've ordered that I intend to use on future projects. So um, we'll see where it takes us. And lastly, number three is electronic components. Three is the capacitors. They're not in order, but I'll get this arranged sooner uh, sooner than later and I will label it. So those are them. My electronic components sorters. They're not all my components. I mean, I've got circuit. These are my Arduino boards. I've got some potentiometers here. So lots of other components. These are just the smaller items or the single items that uh, need some storage here. So this will go on my shelf. Nice way to end today, guys. Work in progress. Thanks for joining. Story of my life. You should see me with copes. Until next time. Thanks for tuning in.